Um, uh, Johnny Cage. This is new, isn't it? Just to, just to cut in here, you've got this variation. Yeah, that's Never our seen new this character variations. Is every, every character in the game has three versions, all of which play okay. differently from each other. So they have unique moves, unique um, you know strategies and whatnot. Uh, so you know a, a matchup in a character is, is in in this game is much more uh, variables than just you know. Sub Zero versus Scorpion. It's Sub Zero A versus Sub Zero Sub uh, Scorpion, Scorpion C. C yeah. So it's very, very uh, uh, it's a wide range of characters. And so. It's, so it's not just aesthetics then. These these variations. Is it, so how how does it change it? Is it your different moves you can do? Or yes, whatever? exactly. Yeah, there's there's a, a number of uh, unique moves that each variation has that the other ones don't. You notice Scorpion right here. He has these swords on his back. Only that version of Scorpion has swords on his back, and he can use them in combat for a number of his attacks. Um, so you're going to see him swinging the sword there, you know, so it's like only that version of Scorpion can do it. And whereas Ferator fights with uh, this little lady on his back and he uses her, you know, he, he can swing her in attacks and he can use her as a, as a projectile as well. <laughs> That's a projectile. So, so there's a lot of, and you know, when, right. he, when he gets hit, she gets knocked off. Oh yeah, I see and, you tried um, to club. Club Scorpion with her there, right? Yeah, and she, so she gets knocked off, and then she jumps right back on his shoulder. So right now she just stabbed him. Uh, that's called a pain and gain move. And so he starts bleeding, taking damage, but he's inflicting way more damage. So it's a bit uh, of a risk reward type of thing. Gotcha, gotcha. So what else is new then, apart from these variations? What else have you brought new for Mortal Kombat X? Uh, you know, the, the environments is, are playing a bigger role than they have in, in Mortal Kombat in the past. You know, you can actually use them for what we call environmental leveraging. So on the, on the left there, uh, you'll notice that you can see uh, Scorpion just long jumped over uh, this one, uh, yeah. one of those pier things. And it, it allows you to, you know, strategically position yourself into an area that you are uh, more useful for. You're going to notice this hook over uh, Ferator. He can actually jump up and swing, there he goes. attacking Burns. there. So uh, you notice the the sea will bring up a a, a dead body occasionally. <laughs> you can grab that out of the air and throw it at oh, your opponent. Oh right, yeah, I think I saw that in the press conversation. Yeah, I was thinking, yeah. What so that, yeah. Uh, on the left side here, you see North Scorpion ran up the wall, oh, kind of getting yourself out of the corner. So. Though, you know, that layered on top of the character variations, layered on top of Mortal Kombat 9's, um, you know, meter with the x-ray and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. It really feels our, our kind of deepest one. All right, come on, finish the movie, finish the movie. We want to see yeah, this. Yeah, hopefully we, we can get a, well. a, a yeah, this cool is a fatality with tandem fatality there. Uh, it's, it's, that's pretty, that's pretty brutal. That is, yeah, okay. That's going to hurt. Wow. Yeah, oh my so God. that's kind of like next-gen fatalities. <laughs> Yeah, um, so here's what I want to know, and I, I, I'm, I'm going to be scared if the answer is you, but who comes up with the, with like these brutal fatalities? Where do these ideas come from? Who's twisted mind? Yeah. If it's you, I'm scared of you now. Um, uh, we have fatality meetings. We have, really? uh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's probably, probably the, the funnest meeting that we, we have at work. I would love to be flying the world if fatality. So, uh, so uh, what's by 9 o'clock? Are oh, you going to fatality meet? Today. Exactly, oh, God, exactly. Okay, yeah. So people come into, a, come into a room with little pieces of paper with stick figure things, or they'll get a reference from a movie, or they'll, you know, do, do all the, or they stand up and kind of act it out. And uh, so it's, it's <laughs> always dangerous. fun to... Yeah, and, and, then it's, and then I have to be the bad guy. Like if something crosses a line, I kind of like you know. We, we where can't is that do that, line? Guys, though? Because uh, like, I mean, I, I'm sure there is a line, but it's it's not obvious where it is because you guys yeah. will do most things. It's just I don't know. It's just like a gut feeling you kind of get. Like yeah. you know that some of the stuff that we've done, we've wondered about, but there have been a number of things that have been presented that you know, and, uh, uh, we just kind of couldn't do. Can you can you mention any of the ones that didn't make the cut? Pardon? Could you could you like tell us any of the ones? What did what didn't make it? No, make the no, cut? they're so bad that I don't even like to, I don't even like talking about them. <laughs> okay, so wow, kinda, wow, you know, that's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, next time you have a fatality meeting, I want to come along. That sounds yeah. that sounds great. So um, who's oh so we've got Devora. She's the um, kind of spider half insect lady. And which variation is this? Uh, this Devora. This is called uh, bl uh, uh, brood mother. And and so what? Sorry. Broodmother, you oh, can brood tell. On, you can see on the top uh, oh, left of course, is, yeah, yeah. In, is the name of them, and you can tell visually. You can tell which one it is because she doesn't have the hood on, and yeah. so each each uh, variation has something. You know, you notice Sub Zero there on his Grandmaster one. He has that that medallion on him, and uh, you could tell from there like which uh, variation of the character it is. And earlier, you noticed that the uh, they they picked up 
the old lady who's just kind of hanging out. You can use her as a projectile as well. So Sub Zero here uses the opponent's entrails, freezes them, and kind of jams them in their <laughs> eye. There. That made the cup. Really, yeah, really glad yeah. that made the cup. Grab yeah. the entrails, freezes them, and then stabs them in the eye. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. So those, those, you know, we always have these big kind of fun moments in the yeah. game. But you know, on top of it is we're adding these really cool. Uh, the variations really add to the to the yeah. depth of the. So of the are there combat. a ton more X-ray attacks and, and finishers in, uh, in X? I'm sorry. Have you added a ton more like X-ray attacks and finishers? Do we have a ton more? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. There's there's yeah. It's it's uh this this this, this is a great uh, kind of ending to this fatality. What as well. happens? What does she do? The bugs kind of ate away bugs. at their skin and then she steps on the uh, on the head. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. That'll do it. All yeah. right. Fantastic. So um. What are you guys like? What's what, what are you guys doing in terms of narrative? Can you talk at all about narrative and sure. Mortal Kombat? Sure. The, the, the um, you know Mortal Kombat. Uh, the, 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 our last few games actually, Mortal Kombat and Injustice have had you know really elaborate kind of single player campaigns where the player kind of fights through all the um, the battles and, and determines the story going going forward. Um, and we're we're going to continue in that vein with this game, but th this game covers. Uh, uh, a number of, of, of time periods, you know, it, it, it has okay. it has elements from the the right after MK9. It has you know five years ahead, 15 years ahead, 25 years ahead. So you see things like um, Cassie Cage, which is Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade's daughter, and you know you, you get you get an idea of that dynamic of of, of her and and. Um, so it's it's really cool in that it, it, it we're not necessarily telling the story linearly. We're doing in in periods of time, and so it's it, it it's great to see the characters kind of maturing over time. So um, you guys have got the stamina bar this time around as well, right? I'm sorry. You guys have got the stamina bar this time yes. around. So yes. Is this yeah. new? How how does this work? Yeah, you know, there's there's a number of things that you can do in addition to this game that you couldn't do in it before. One of them is is running. You can actually run into into your opponent. Okay. And so we use the stamina bar as a way to to limit so you can't just be running all over the place infinitely. And that's the bar we see kind of filling up along the bottom exactly. there. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Oh, yeah, that's gonna hurt. So, so you know, there's 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 new mechanics that are in the game that um, you know w you couldn't do in in the last one, and it's kind of like a, a way to regulate it. So, what is this? Um, what are we running this on right now? Which which uh, hardware are we playing this on? Right now, I, th I think this is the PS4 version, and uh, this version, it, it you know, it's great. It runs at uh, full. 1080p, uh, 60 frames a second. So you know you get a lot. It's easily our most sophisticated presentation that we've had in a Mortal Kombat game. Oh, that was that was really brutal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His X-rays, yeah. his X-rays, pretty nasty. So what, what's um, what's this War God version of a uh, Kodokan enable him to do? I'm sorry. Well, sorry, uh, it's, sorry. It's quite light on stage here. Um, what's the War God um, version a lot like? How does that change Kotal Khan's abilities? Kotal Khan, yes. This this version of of Kotal Khan, he has this gigantic sword on his back, and he uses that a lot in combat. The other two uh, variations don't have that sword. So, again, it's it it, it gives him a, a slew of moves that he. Um, that he can perform just in that variation, a little bit more reach than uh, than he, he normally has. So I'm also uh, I was reading that uh, this time around you've actually increased the combat speed a little bit of uh, Mortal Kombat X. Is that right? Yeah, it, it plays a little bit faster uh, than than uh, the last Mortal Kombat game did, and uh, and then it, and then again it's a lot more variety of things that can happen with the uh, the you know matchups and variations. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Now, guys, if you're watching at home right now and you have any questions, then, as always, the best way to do that is to tweet at me at CamFrazRob. The Twitter handle will be on screen any second. That's C-A-M-F-R-A-Z-R-O-B. There it is. And now let's see this fatality. Here it comes. Bullet to kneecaps, to the heads. Oh, this isn't going to end well. Double gum? What? Wow. That's, um, yeah. Who, how did you come up with that? Who's like, you know, and then we'll throw in this bubble gum at the end. That, that one was that one wasn't mine. That was that was one of our designers came up with that one. So what's and, your uh, favorite one? What's your, or the one my you're favorite most proud one of? is the one I came up with. Of course. And what is that? <laughs> what is that? It's uh, and it's, can we see it's actually? scorpions? I think I think we've seen it in um, in uh, uh, the 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 the. 
the gameplay press trailer conference. that had, had been released. Well, can, well, can we, in case some and people are watching at home haven't actually seen it, can we can we get Scorpion involved? Or uh, oh, we got oh, sub yeah, zero now. I, I, I guess we can, but I, I they oh, might have can, to back out of the play. Yeah, if we can back back out. That'd be great. I'll just check Twitter to see if you have any any more questions. But what's it like being back at E3 with, with a new Mortal Kombat game? Ed? It's very exciting. You know, um, when we released the uh, the trailer video, uh, which was uh, more of like an announced trailer. It was exciting just because of the uh, the response was ridiculous. You know, we had like you know seven million views in, in just a few days, and then we did the, the the gameplay one, which answered a lot of questions as far as uh, you know the details of uh, gameplay, and uh, the, the the response has been like you know bigger than I I, I could have even hoped for. So it's it's just so exciting to see people. Uh, excited about Mortal Kombat. And speaking of uh, response, we've got loads of questions coming over Twitter already, so I'm going to throw some of these at you. That's okay, Ed? Absolutely. So, uh, first up, we have are there different, this is a good one, are there different fatalities for each archetype? You know, we, we thought about that, but I, I think um, we, we really wanted to, to, to give everybody a chance, every character. Every character is going to have multiple fatalities, but we okay. really wanted to have them accessible to everybody. Okay, okay very good. Um, that question's been asked again. Okay, does, does Ed Boon voice any of the new characters shown here? Uh, well, I'm still the voice of Scorpion, the yep. get over here and all that. Um, but um, a lot of the stuff in like the uh, the story mode and all that is is, is professional actors now. And oh, I'm, I'm not a professional actor. Well, I know, man. Your, your Scorpion's pretty good. <laughs> Um, what else we got here? Uh, okay, what ninjas are going to be in Mortal Kombat X? That's a question uh, well, from unfortunately, Bramford. the only ones like we can we can confirm at the moment are Scorpion and Sub Zero. I, uh, uh, I would be surprised if there was no more than that in okay. the final uh, in the final roster. So do you have a do you have a favorite character? Ed? I gotta ask this question. You know, uh, like if my like favorite character is Scorpion. It's always yeah. it always has been. I guess you know. I think that's. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of history uh, with that character, and uh, and and I'm the voice of Scorpion. So uh. fair enough. Yeah, that, I'd be the same. <laughs> just, just quick, just checking uh, Twitter again, see what else we got coming in. Um, here we go. So talk me through this stage here. This is like the dead pirate ship stage or something. How does this fit into the the narrative? Oh, yeah, actually, you probably can't talk about that. It's kind of spoilery, but yeah. yeah tell me about this stage. The, the, this is this is the cove, and it uh, it's one of our, our our prettiest stages. You know, the water yeah, really kind of shows off the whole next gen uh, graphics that we couldn't you know we couldn't do before, and uh, it has a number of of, of you know kind of opportunities that, that that pose to the player. Uh, I guess we might see another fatality here. All right, knife to the. Oh, he's opening him up. Yeah, that's been a minor surgery here. Classic yeah. heart removal. And then drinking the blood from the heart. Yeah. All right, that's, that's you know that's a classic. Yeah, it's an oldie, but it's a yeah. goodie. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. So thinking about next gen, actually, how, how much has been working with this new hardware? What's it enabled you to do that you haven't been able to do with Mortal Kombat before? Um, beyond just like really nice visuals. Yeah, yeah. We always consider like just the entry point is is a better visual presentation, and um, so so as as far as. Um, you know the, the 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 character variations and, and and things like that. I don't I don't attribute them necessarily to next gen, but I do I do think of them as um, a necessary step that we have to take with every every game. We really want to introduce something new that hasn't been done before and and, and kind of um, separates it from the previous version of Mortal Kombat. There were a number of features that people really liked: the meters with the the breakers, the enhanced moves, the X-ray, and and um, we layered on top of that with the variations in the backgrounds and leveraging yourself. I really feel like this is going to be the um, the, the kind of deepest gameplay mechanic that we've had. Can we talk about multiplayer at all? Are you guys talking about multiplayer at this point? We are. Um, obviously, we're going to have uh, an online component, and we're going to have a, uh, a, a number of, of online modes, one of which you know we're not giving out a lot of details, but it is it is a persistent online game that everybody is going to participate in. So we're really okay, excited about giving details it's later about that. It's yeah, yeah. There. And okay, um, so it's it's, it's going to be something that you're going to, you know, be wanting to participate in. Everybody will be part of it. And um, I, I, I'd love to give more details now, but it, it's, it's going to be cool. Okay, 
Okay, well, make sure you come and tell us when you do. We, we, we want to know. We tell want. me about. I want to know what's like. What does a swarm queen allow Devora to do? Is it? How do you, you pronounce her name? Devora. Is that right? Devora. Okay. Yes. So what's the swarm queen variation? She's like the. the she's like the projectile version, and right. she she has a number of. You know, she could send this bug along the ground to attack um, the opponent. She can, you know, she can throw this bug. So she's all about throwing bugs. distance and 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 projectiles and keeping, you know, keeping distance. Where they're uh, all of them have a um, a uh, uh, the um, she has the stingers that you can use. And the 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 Ferratora on the right, the girl isn't or the the lady isn't riding on uh, on top of 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 uh, her. He, she's just kind of standing on the side as a cheerleader. So he becomes more of like a, uh, a, a more classic brawler, something like yeah. you know, like a Solomon Grundy from Injustice, or you know, a big, uh, big brooding character. And he, and he doesn't have the projectile moves where he throws the lady at him. So adding these three different variations of each character, how, that must have made it quite difficult for, for balancing. I mean, is that? How are you tackling that problem? Um, well, we're definitely we're, we're definitely going to get uh, you know kind of like the pro Evo MLG all those those players yeah. in the studio. Really, they're going to be you know beating on the game and and showing us you know helping us balance it as much as possible. With three variations of characters, as exciting that is, that also comes with it is uh, the added the added challenge of, of of balancing all those variations of characters together. So it's another. Some more wonderful bone crushing there, and uh, yep, through the eyes. Wow. How did she get back up? Well, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go back to Twitter and just see if we got any more questions, because, uh. Okay, so we've got uh, a couple of questions. So, what about storyline? Like, how does it tie into. So, if you've, if you've like, played all the way through Mortal Kombat 9, and, uh, you know, how are they gonna tie in together? Uh, the, the story does have scenes that. that that are very close to the end of MK9, but it also jumps ahead five years, jumps ahead 10 years, you know, 15, 20 years. And um, so it's not told in just a linear uh, way. There, there's, you know, there's, there's, uh, there's jumping back in time and whatnot. So, so it is gonna um, elaborate and, and give a lot of history as to like what happened to the characters afterwards and what happens on a long-term basis okay. to the characters too. Got a, a ton more questions on Twitter here, Ed. Do you mind if I just threw some more absolutely, at you? Because these absolutely. are the fans, and these are the, the big questions they've got. Now, this one might be one you can't answer, but I'll, I'm going to throw it at you anyway. So Alex is asking, who is Sub-Zero? He was Cyborg last time, and he said, ask Ed, please. Yeah, you know, as anybody who's really kind of followed the Mortal Kombat story, you know, Sub-Zero is part of a Lin Kuei clan, and he is, um, he is one of many Sub-Zeros. So... There have been sub zeros who've died. There have been other ones come back. So it's not it, the, the representation of Sub Zero has been a number of different people, and the story mode will um, will tell you exactly which one this is. So Jason wants to know: um, Is Conquest mode back? Is Conquest mode back? Yeah. Uh, not in this version. Not no. This version. no. Okay. Okay. It's a good one. Um, uh, so a lot of people are wondering about about characters, and I know you you only revealed these six so far, but maybe you can hint here, like. More club in the past have obviously brought in, you know, like you've had Kratos, you've had Freddy Krueger. Can we expect any like cameo type characters? Uh, there's a, there's, I think there's a very decent chance that we're going to have some uh, uh, guest characters. You know, okay. uh, in Mortal Kombat 9, uh, the Freddy Krueger uh, download character yeah. was the highest selling of all of them. Really? So yeah, yeah, and then in Injustice, the guest character being Scorpion was the highest selling of all those. So so that that's obviously people are kind of voting with people their want, uh, yeah people want to see it so yeah, I, yeah. that sounds pretty that sounds pretty hopeful. I think yeah. we could say that. Uh, oh yeah are there gonna be any stage fatalities? Uh, very, likely, very likely. Very likely. Oh wow so freezing of the chest cavity, reaching in, breaking the spinal column and then ripping the person in half. That's not possible. I don't yeah, believe that's yeah, possible. Yeah, actually. A, a lot of I don't think. Are, I don't think you're a real possible. doctor, are you? <laughs> no, a lot of them aren't possible. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What else we got? Loads of questions coming in. Um, are there going to be any unlocking in Mortal Kombat X? So, like Crypt was in Mortal Kombat Nine. Unlocking what? Uh, so is there is there going to be any like anything you can unlock? I think any unlockables. I think is what he's saying. So like oh, Crypt yeah. was in Mortal Kombat Nine. Um, well, well, we haven't we haven't uh, announced what what 
the actual feature is, but I, I, you know, I can't imagine a Mortal Kombat game without unlockable items. Okay. So. How about uh, brutalities? Are they going to be in this one? Um, there will be another ality. I could say that with a with a all. New uh, uh, well, it, 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 it could be brutality. It could be babality. It could be you know okay, friendship okay. or There'll something be some like that. Sort of al there will be there. one for sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's talk about variations one more time. So you mentioned you didn't decide to give uh, variations their own specific fatalities, but does it change like X-rays and open up new X-ray moves and things like that? Um, no, it doesn't change the X-ray move, but it changes their special moves uh, quite a bit dramatically. You know, like like there's a whole series of moves that that one. It's mainly for the combat, the hand, the moment-to-moment -moment combat. You know, fatalities and X-rays. While the attack is used, you know, a lot of it is is the visual. The visual wow of it all. And um, a couple more, couple more questions here. So, says someone's just really pleading to, for us to show Scorpion's fatality. Uh, see if we can make that happen. Um, oh yeah, I let's see what we got here. That's actually not a very good question. Um, it's just so many coming through. A lot yeah. of them are the same. We're just trying to organize them through here. Um, Okay, well, it's a question for Ed. Will Sonya's X-ray make the cut? Will Sonya's X-ray make yeah, the cut? Yeah, yeah. Well, Sonya hasn't been announced, so oh, I, I, I so suppose we'll I, 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 I guess I, um, I, I, I couldn't confirm or deny it. Was there anything new that we've not really covered so far in Mortal Kombat X that you really want to talk about? You mentioned the, the stamina bar, we've got the different ver variations of characters. Like, what else are, are when people are thinking about picking this game up, what's, well, what's it going to offer yeah, them? Yeah, I mean, I mean... You, you, there's, like I said, there's, there's six characters here, and each has three variations. So there's actually 18 variations of the characters here. You know, Cassie Cage right here, she has the, the Spec Ops one, and she can call, call missiles in from the sky, you know, that, that attack the, 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 the player. And so, you know, again, all these kind of unique moves that just that one variation of the character uses, it's so much uh, that we haven't even seen that we even demonstrated yet. So... That's what, what you know. What's so exciting? If you know, if a game has 25 characters, there's 75 versions of characters up in the game, and and so the the, the, the mixing of that, what what I'm so excited about it is it, it it just creates such a bigger palette. It's like giving a you know an artist a canvas and giving them five colors and five brushes versus a hundred colors and a hundred brushes. It's just what players are going to do with these things is, is, is the most exciting to me with that. Well, Ed, yeah. it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you, having you on stage.